Okay, so this is like a complete roadmap for any beginner that, you know, finished HTML and CSS and is looking to get into JavaScript and he doesn't know exactly like how to navigate the space, what is important and what's not important. Well, let's get started. I don't want to waste any of your time. So I have identified two main phases in the development of a person that is learning JavaScript. The first thing that I want to say here is that if you come in into JavaScript thinking that it's going to be the same or as easy as learning HTML and CSS, you'll have a big, big problem. The, the thing here is that HTML and CSS is a totally different skill than JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language and whatever you've learned with HTML and CSS is not going to be transferable here. So do not make this mistake thinking that, hey, I've done well back then with those technologies, now I'm going to be doing well here as well. No, on the contrary, you'll probably start from minus five uh, and you're going to have a difficult time getting something done or getting some, you know, momentum and some projects out in your first, you know, two, three, even four weeks of doing JavaScript, you know? So I know a bunch of people say, hey, go ahead and build some project, build something with JavaScript if you wanna get started with it and understanding it, but it doesn't work like that. The first phase is the baby phase. And in this first phase, the only thing that you care about is the syntax. I know, again, a lot of people say, don't focus on the syntax. Programming is not about the syntax. Programming is about solving problems, which is 100% true. But as a complete beginner, in order to solve any of those problems that you need to solve eventually or build any of those applications that you need to solve eventually, you need to know the syntax. Like there is no other way. Like even if you know how to solve the problem, if you don't know how to write it, then your problem solving abilities are useless, completely useless. So again, focus here 100% on understanding the syntax, meaning how to write a function, a variable, an array, an if statement, all that stuff. And then that's one thing. The other thing that comes in with learning the syntax is understanding why you need a parenthesis, like a round parenthesis around the if statement. Why do you need the curly brackets around the, you know, the if statement? Why do you need to have the function written in this way? Why do you need to have the keyword and the name? Like question all those things that are like obvious that people are like laying out for you and you know, like they don't really care too much. But if you ask yourself, why do I need this? Why is this done in this way? And you do some research, then you'll be actively learning rather than just passively learning. That's one exercise that you could do. And another exercise that you should be doing is just writing down as many functions as possible, but without shutting your brain off. So be conscious like, oh, I'm going to write a function here. I'm going to write a variable here. I'm going to make a variable about everything. Like write hundreds and hundreds of variables, functions, if statements, loops until you do not have to think about it. Because if you want to create apps in the future, you cannot spend RAM of your brain thinking about the syntax. You know what I mean? So your RAM should be about solving the problem, not about how do I write a for loop? How do I write an if statement? How do I write a function? This is my first tip if you are a complete beginner. That's where you should be starting from. And if you don't uh, do this, you'll have big, big problems. And I know a bunch of coding gurus won't talk about this because they don't work with beginners. They work with, you know, like geniuses from the beginning. Now, once we moved on from the baby phase, we have the next phase, which is the, the chicken phase. Okay, the chicken phase is where you start to bring in some of the HTML and CSS functionalities, right? So you start to understand event listeners. You understand how to change the styles, how to add classes to like an element once you clicked on it, how to remove things from the screen, how to append dynamically elements on the screen based on some array loop or something like that. So here is where we learn the basics of like programming using JavaScript. And here is where we apply JavaScript to a front-end website, a front-end application. Like we are using it in the right environment and we are using JavaScript for the purpose for what it was created in the first place, which is making a website interactive, okay? Something to keep in mind. And this phase will not take you too long, maybe, you know, like another two, three weeks, something like that. Once we get out of this chicken phase, then we get into the duck phase. And what is the difference between a chicken and a duck? Well, a chicken is like 
running around it doesn't do many things a baby is pretty much useless you know it can die because of any any kind of life situation really uh, and the duck can do a lot of things right but it's not good at anything can walk can swim can fly but it's atrocious at all those activities so in this phase what you are trying to do is you are trying to create some sort of applications you know the calculator the to-do app even though i'm bashing them in all my videos is because people are putting those in their portfolios but those apps are good for learning okay because they have some principles that you know they will be teaching you so in this phase what you want to do is you want to focus on data okay arrays objects okay objects things like that callbacks understanding those things like really getting into the nitty-gritty of javascript and you will be in this phase for like maybe one to two months where you really try to implement and recreate as many applications as you can or parts of an application as many as you can to really have a feeling for how javascript works because even though it's like easy it's easier to pick up compared with java for example it still requires a lot of thinking and requires a lot of you know focus from yourself to actually understand it so i'm not gonna make it look like anyone can do this in like two days because it's impossible i'm not gonna insult your intelligence you know exactly how it works if you tried to learn programming right uh, it's it's fairly difficult but if you have these steps in mind while you are coding you'll be able to identify okay i cannot do the chicken stuff if i'm still a baby right so you cannot go ahead and try to like solve simple algorithms on code words or wherever you are doing algorithms or wherever your favorite guru told, told you to do algorithms if you don't know your syntax okay and you cannot do complex things with arrays and objects if you are not comfortable with like pushing popping stuff from an array and stuff like that right so each phase it's important and what i would recommend you to do is that stay stay for a little bit in your phase whenever you feel like you've learned enough so again this comes from talking like with hundreds of people just like you that tell me oh i've been through zero to mastery course and i've been doing it for three weeks and now i'm in advanced javascript and i don't understand anything well that happens because you move too fast it should take you some time to move from one section to another it cannot be in three weeks to do like advanced javascript stuff it's impossible right if you are doing it you are either a genius but if you're a genius then you shouldn't be complaining that you don't understand something so stay there i know it's it's difficult because you want to move on you want to get the result fast but it's a matter of discipline to stay in there with the problem with your issues and try to understand more okay like really push yourself like in my mentorship program like for example just going through the html and css part takes a month okay takes a month most people do html and css in a week and they have no website no no projects built with that okay or some people are like in three weeks they are doing advanced javascript stuff but they cannot write the for loop completely so really think about it are you actually learning stuff or you are just going through courses the thing that's not important is not it's like not how many courses you're going through but how many courses go through you right just keep that in mind go through one thing do it in the right way approach every problem like it's really important like it's serious or also have fun with it that's also important but make sure that you are moving from phase to phase with the right pace not too fast not too slow and then you'll be doing great and then you'll feel the need for the next thing which is react you'll feel like okay i know enough javascript now i want to build more complex stuff but i feel like if i keep working with javascript i'm not gonna get anywhere and then you start learning react and then it's when you become like a like a proper shark if that makes sense and then you start attacking things and you get really good you build apps and then you add more skills you build a resume and then you get a job that's how things work this is like very realistic uh, if you give yourself one month for each one of these stages, then you'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, this is my video for today. If you want help with all this stuff and many, many, many other things, feel free to apply for a free consultation call. The link for that is in the description of this video, the first link. 
And in this consultation call, I'm gonna show you how my program works, how it's gonna be applied to you and how we're gonna help you go from zero. If you start from zero or if you have some experience, you finished a bootcamp or you finish like a bunch of courses and you have no idea where to go from your current situation, we'll take you from there all the way to pay developer. I'm gonna work with you until you get hired. Okay, so this is an unlimited program because I know it takes some time until you get the skills and until you master the skills. So the program is unlimited and then you get help all the way till someone is gonna pay you some cash. We have feedback, community support, live calls, a complete roadmap, literally anything you can think of, we have it and you're gonna get it. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.